So, uh, after talking with folks a little bit on the live streams and stuff, everybody wanted to see a little more of our lot. So what I thought I would do is I'd show you the before. We haven't done anything to it yet. I mean, nothing. The lady over here, she's over here talking to us right now. And uh, she mows the lawn, she's got a tractor and stuff. So that's about all she's done. And she really hasn't, she's gonna get into this stuff. She takes care of it for us. So anyway, to let you know, there's our wire. We have a, they disconnected the electrical cord. We found out that uh, the, this little uh, shed thing here was uh, somebody's home for a while, which was a little irritating. But uh, this is where everybody came to drink beer. This was the bar. And this is a dry county, so you kind of don't want that kind of stuff going on. Anyway, our property line is right here. So that corner way over there past Darla, way over in that corner where those fences are, um, that's our, uh, that's the other border. And then down here by that mailbox past that telephone pole, that's the other one. So these are a couple of our, our oak trees. And these things, man, they bloom with these really cool looking purple, pinkish colored flowers, but uh, they're done. They've already done that. Like I say, there's all the electrical stuff and I'm gonna completely rewire all that. All this is gonna be, kind of be taken out and, and refurbished and our water stuff is over here. There's, there's my box and then the city's box is just right next to it, right behind it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a spigot put in here. One thing that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge is I gotta run the water lines but I got these two big trees, so I got to try to figure out where there's no big roots because some of these trees have some pretty nasty roots. And there's a pond over there, a little gazebo. So this is the driveway. This is where we come in. So I got to knock this down right here. This little hump right here has to come down because that's the way I'm going to have to come in. I'm going to have to come in at a pretty... I can't get straightened up enough with the rig, it's too long. So this is gonna have to come down right here and then I'll be shooting up that way, up by where Darla's at up there. And then I'll show you in a second here where we're gonna end up putting the motorhomes. Gotta fill a little bit of this in down here, low spot, there's a sewer outlet. The road's gonna come around this way over here. I don't, I don't really wanna mess too much with the trees. I like the trees. So this is all the crap that the guys that were here before, there's beer cans and all this. I'm gonna come over here, bring my trailer over here and a rake and stuff and, and rake all this. They had carpet out here and all kinds of stuff. That's all going to the dumpster. And this is the, uh, the shed. And actually, it's got decent bones. It still needs some more frame work done. I think I'm either gonna put the door here or I'm gonna put it over here. More than likely, I might put it over here. I haven't figured it out yet. There's there's possibility of four walls and I think I'm down to one or two. And it's gonna be uh, wood siding instead of this, this metal. This metal's kind of a problem, but the roof looks pretty pretty sturdy. Someone's already put an electrical box in here. Um, need to work on that a little bit because I'm going to have to run 20 in here for the dryer. There'll be a washer dryer and then a refrigerator in here. And then we'll have a little bit of storage. I'm going to have to make it pretty secure. And then besides being secure, I'm going to alarm it. I've had to protect electronic stores a motorcycle shop in our house, which was very desirable for thieves. But uh, nobody ever, every, some people tried with the electronics. No one ever tried with the motorcycle thing. So I had a lot of tweakers come in and look at around and like, wow, I could, I could do this and do that, but they couldn't. Got to clean these trees up a little bit. Like I say, it's a mess. 
beer bottles, beer cans, insulation, old pipes, mugs, you name it, cans. But that's just stuff, you just rake it up, throw it away, all kinds of crap here. That was supposed to be a composting deal over here, but the lady from next door told us, her name's Patty, super great lady. Anyway, uh, she told me they never did anything with it. And that's, this is basically right here, out this area over here and back along here. This is where the, the metal building is eventually gonna end up. It's going to be somewhere between 70 and 100 feet long, and it's going to be 50 feet deep. A 30-foot section of it is going to be probably 16, 18 feet high with a 14-foot door, and then the rest of it's going to drop down. It's going to be about 10 or 12 feet high. I'll have a, a garage, something big enough to get the truck in, and that's where my shop will be. And then at this far end over here, this is where we're going to have our, our we're going to build our house inside the metal building. And so when we're at night, look at these, look at these flowers. This place is just unbelievable right now. It's just so much new life. And that's one thing about this area. You experience life and death every single day. Um, you, just, you just see so much new life. And then you see things that are dead all the time. Highways everywhere. But you can see, man, those, those flowers are just like little red tiny roses man they're beautiful but this would be what we'll be looking at out our back we come out and uh, this is all the lady next door this lower section over here you can see right over here that by that tree over there that fence and that pond that's hers and uh, and then the rest of this over here is is this person over here in this house so that's the extent really of our neighbors. The rest of the neighbors are down the street here. We got a couple across the street. And then these people here on the corner. This is, this is a corner up here and then you can make a right hand turn. Anyway, this is all gonna be tractored out. It'll all be level. Isn't that a beautiful tree? <laughs> I used to have when I, I, I lived in Norwalk, California. And I had a, a tree in my front yard. I mean, this thing was just absolutely beautiful. And uh, all summer long, it was great uh, for keeping the house cool and everything. The bad thing about it was, is it lost all of its leaves in the winter time. And that made for a really, really big job cleaning up all the leaves. So this is gonna be the area right in here right up in this area here. This is where we're gonna park the motor home. Let's see, actually, about, about right here is gonna be the front area right here. And then we're gonna go back from here. And I gotta take out this little hump right here, take it down, kind of smooth it out, fill this all in right here real good, and then rock it. Dig the trenches, run the electrical and the water, sewer lines. That's, that's gonna be the extent for what we're gonna do right away as far as moving dirt and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna work on getting that shed up to speed, like I said, so uh, we could make it into a laundry room and a little bit of storage. It doesn't leak, amazingly, well, it does on the sides, but it does it on the top, so it's amazing. Anyway, that, that kind of gives you a little idea. Those are our trees, that one right there is our tree. So we got, we got about, seven or eight really pretty trees here and uh once i get this once i get this grass out of here i got to get rock down right away because if i don't get the rock down then you get up in here it's going to be real muddy so i want to get it all fixed up but like i say once again here over here our boundary if you see that one fence post right there right by that tree. From here over, this is our lot. And with electrical and water and, and sewer, it's all city. We have a gas pipeline here. Um, I think we got a pretty good deal. I think we got a nice view. It's gonna be a nice view, especially when you're up high in the motorhome. And when the when winter time comes, a lot of these trees are gonna drop their, their uh, leaves. So 
usually you can see those mountains right behind those trees but it's nice this time of year I like looking at the green and and the trees and kind of gives it a changing of the seasons for us but I don't know how long we're going to be able to stay here because we're probably going to have to go out and do some work um, to make some money and, and we're getting the itch you know you can you can put us in Arkansas but you can't take the travel out of our bones we're we're just really used to full-time RV lifestyle and we enjoy it so much but you know when you when you have a a project that you need to do and you're pretty well set wanting to get that done it's probably a it kind of overrides it for a while but we've been we've been talking about gate guarding and all kinds of things we're trying to find something that's a little unique that's we're always looking for different things we did gate guarding for over four years so the only thing that we just always love to do is we love to do the sugar beets that's uh that's our primary job i think if if nothing else that's the one we want to keep so all right guys Thanks for uh, taking this little tour with me. We get ready to start doing some tractor and I'll do some filming and we'll show you guys what's going on. And then, well, you never know. Maybe you'll get to visit with us. Talk to you later. Thank you. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the bell so you get notifications of our new videos. Thank you. So this is just one of the things that you see when you're driving in the backwoods of Arkansas. Little waterfall. I got a concrete retainer wall here. Yeah. It's like a little dam so yeah. you can pond this up here. We're on this, this little country road. Dirt road. It stopped being maintained a few miles back. It's just really pretty. Come on, Katie. Thank mm -hmm. you.